How many creatives should you be testing every week? This is a question that I get asked all the time. And frankly, my response often surprises people because my philosophy on the subject is very different. It's very counterculture to what most of you are used to hearing. Now, my opinion on the matter doesn't necessarily disprove or, or doesn't necessarily live in opposition to what other people are teaching. I just take it a step further. We all know the power of the creative. This is not something that I'm here to debate. The creative is ultimately the product itself. The creative is what makes the ad go viral or makes people convert and turn into purchases. So when gurus out there are telling you you need to test 10 creatives or 20 creatives or 50 creatives for every product, they're not necessarily wrong. In fact, this strategy is extremely effective if you're building a brand or if you're running a one product store. But most of you guys know by now that that's not what I teach. I run a general store and I teach my students how to run general stores. And so we are not limited by the amount of products that we can run. We don't have five or 10 products that we're stuck with. We prefer to not live with that limitation. And as a result, this changes our perspective of the creative testing process. So throughout my years of drop shipping and my hundreds, if not thousands of products that I've scaled, I've discovered that every product has a certain ceiling that some products are seven figure products and some products are five figure products. And that's a pretty drastic difference. So my entire strategy revolves around this truth, around this fact that some products just don't scale very high, regardless of how many creatives you test with them. And the products that are seven figure products, the products that make millions of dollars generally will sell with even a weaker creative. When you consider these things, it makes a whole lot more sense to only test one, two, or maybe three at most creatives per product. I'd much rather test 10 products with one creative than one product with 10 creatives. Sure, testing more creatives per product will increase your odds of making those products work, but I choose to not be attached, emotionally attached to my products. I, I don't want to force them to work. And in fact, most of you who have tried drop shipping and failed and, and even lost a lot of money along the way is because you fell into that mindset of forcing products to work. This is a very slippery slope and it's one that it's hard to come back from. You end up digging a pretty deep hole thinking that all I need is one more video. All I need is to make the right creative and this product will take off. I'm here to tell you that there is a way to drastically improve your odds of making profit on a more consistent basis. Now, I also feel that this philosophy applies or works a whole lot better with my strategy because we focus entirely on picture ads. We, we don't run any videos at all. And so it's very easy to cycle through hundreds, if not thousands of products very quickly. I still am a fan of creative testing. I just prefer to test creatives from a lot of different products as opposed to a lot of creatives for a small amount of products. I feel that this has the greatest statistical chance of making you millions of dollars. Now in my pulse testing strategy, that's our current most up-to-date Facebook ad strategy, we do test between one and three creatives for every product, but I'd say nine out of 10, we're only picking one image. And it's honestly not that hard to figure out which image to use. It's just simply the one you like best. If you like it the best, then chances are other people will like it the best. If it's an image that grabbed your attention and said, hey, look at me, there's a pretty high probability it's going to do that to other people when it shows up on their Instagram or Facebook feed. So if the picture that you think is best doesn't work for this product, it's time to just move on from that product. We're not going to keep playing with the creative and keep searching the internet for more pictures to use or changing the colors or the backgrounds or the adding price to it or text or all these different things. It's far better use of your money and your time to just dump the product and try the next one. Now, I'm not completely opposed to creative testing for individual products, but the only time that I actually do this is when we're at peak scale for the product. So say we've found a winning product and we've scaled it up to five, maybe $10,000 a day. And 
it's hit its ceiling and we, we found that this product can't really be scaled any further. It's at this point that we'll create new pictures for that product. We don't shoot them ourselves. I'm not going to waste my time doing that, but we'll use things like Photoshop beta, the use their AI to change the background or reverse the image, or maybe there's just images that we haven't tried yet that are available on AliExpress or Timu. And we'll run those as well, just to see if we can bring new life to that product that's already been established as a winner. So when you're running your drop shipping business or any business or any endeavor in general, you have to analyze how you're spending your money and how you're spending your time and how you can optimize those things to give yourself a statistical advantage in the long run. And it helps to understand compounding effects of things. So say this method that I'm talking about only gives you a 2% advantage over the other method, the more commonly used method of mass creative testing for individual products. Say my method gives you a 2% advantage in finding or producing seven figure winners. Well, that 2% compounds with every product that you test over the months and years that you're in this business, small advantages add up to huge advantages. And all you need is that one product. Like your whole life will change when you find that big seven figure winner. And the best way to give yourself a chance at finding it is by testing a lot of products instead of a small amount with a lot of creatives. I trust that this has opened your mind, opened your eyes to the way that I look at things and, and how that has impacted my success in this business and my students' success in this business. And I hope that it uh, helps you take your business to the next level just by looking at things a little bit differently. If you like my content, guys, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll make sure that I keep putting out these massive value bombs for you on a regular basis. I'll see you in the next one.